Hey Jason, you ready to start the show? Yep. Hey, wait, where's your tie? I didn't think I should wear one, because today we're talking about trash. Welcome Green Web Watchers to episode number nine. We have a special show for you all. We'll look at a bike company that thinks triangles are so last year. We show you what's done with your e-waste, and a car that blows away the record book, here on location at the Bend County Cleanup on... Green, Green Tech, Tech Weekly! Weekly. We're here today with Teresa Sidwell, the Environmental Coordinator of Benton County Environmental Services. Great title, by the way. Thank you. Uh, what are some of the things that you collect here that aren't normally collected on the curb? Well, one of the big things is household hazardous waste, and that would include anything like paint, chemicals, batteries, car batteries, anything that would be a chemical. Oh, cool. Um, what are some of the things, uh, out of all the stuff uh, sent to the recycling. Sadly, what goes to the landfill though? Well, we do collect big bulky items that wouldn't fit into your regular household garbage like um, furniture, um, barbecue grills, things like that that wouldn't go into your regular garbage And that goes bin. right to the landfill? Yes. Uh, we do recycle metal though, so that can be recycled. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, what, do you, what do you see as the benefit of this event? Well, the benefit is a lot of things get recycled instead of going to the landfill. Uh, how long has Ben County been doing this event? I think we've probably been doing it eight to ten years. Eight to ten years? And um, our uh, director, Scott, wants to know, can he make it out of here with a bicycle frame? Uh, he might be able to make it out with a bicycle frame. I don't know if he'd get one with good tires, though. Ah. <laughs> so there you go, Scott. Uh, we want to thank uh, Ben County and Teresa for having us here at the event. Uh, we're going to show you lots of cool stuff. All sorts of other different things. Split up, broke up, smashed up, big bulldozers, everything. So enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Jared Quinn, and you're watching Game Tech Weekly! Yeah. Oh. Scott, look at these banged up bikes. I hope this means that they're gonna get a new bike. I hope so. World Watch Institute says the bicycles are the most efficient means of transportation using just 35 calories per person mile. Wow, 35 calories. I hope if they do get a new bike though, they'll get the new Tortola bike. It's instead of the triangle design, they've got a circle built in that keeps the ride much smoother. Check out the video. We're on a standard triangle geometry every unit of strain makes it to your back. We have improved uh, the ride considerably. We've made it exciting and fun. And the round tail frame, it's, it's a thing of beauty. It allows you to clean your bike easier, get to your components faster, is a work of art. Testing was the equivalent of 10 years use on the frame. And the bike took that testing and uh, was ASDM certified. Everything is coming back very positive. The EPA reports that from 1990 to 2003, the total number of scrap tires going to market increased from 11 million to 233 million. Of all the scrap tires discarded today, over 75% are recycled or used for fuel and other applications. And these tires are headed that way. But what if the air in the tire could be used to move the car instead of the fossil fuels? Toyota and its dream car workshop has recently honed in its air-powered car to go to the world record breaking 88 miles per hour. I'm here with Carl Heinrichs from Esco Process and Recycling. They take our tech and recycling in a green way. They have a zero landfill policy. According to the EPA, the national recycling rate of electronics is only 35% in total each year. And e-waste altogether tosses tw shows that we toss about 20 to 50 million metric tons of e-waste into landfills each year. Um, how do you stop that from making it to the landfill? Well at ESCO Processing Recycling we'll take 
a CRT like this one here and we'll demanufacture it by hand and we'll break this unit down to its lowest possible commodity. We have copper wire here, uh, we have plastic. We'll sort all that as we're taking it apart. We'll put the plastic in a clean plastic stream. Uh, we'll take the copper off of the uh, boards, off of the yokes, off of the degaussing coil. Uh, all the plastic will go in one bin, all the copper in another. The circuit boards will go in a bin by itself. And then we have the bad part of the, the unit, and it's the glass. The glass contains lead, it can contain beryllium, uh, it has phosphorus in it. We don't break the glass at our facility. We actually take that glass and we send that glass to a smelter that smelts out the glass and, and sorts the uh, lead, the glass, uh, you know, for, through the smelting process. So that stuff comes out real clean. Uh, every vendor that we send our product to is vetted by ESCO. Uh, we actually visit every site that we send product to. That product, uh, or those, those customers that we send our product to are, uh, you know, certified. Um, we make sure that they do everything in, in accordance to EPA and uh, federal law. So every, everybody we use is, is clean. No landfill, you know, no China. Everything is, you know, happening here in the United States. And this product is turned into something good, you know. Who knows, this could be a dog bowl tomorrow. Very so. cool, very cool. So I, I know I've, I've talked to you guys over the years. What is the strangest thing you've ever seen come through? It's still, you know, it's, it's the classic whatever or one-off thing that, what's the strangest electronics or maybe the most fantastic, you know, you just wanted to put that in a museum type thing and. Well, we've gotten in uh, some crazy stuff. We've gotten in uh, first generation polygraphs that were probably as big wow. as your car. Uh, oh. you know, hooking up, you know, that unit to your body kind of freaked me out a little bit. You know, it probably took more power than, uh, you know, my microwave. So I wasn't wow. too happy about uh, plugging that onto my skin. <laughs> but uh, it was pretty wild. It was large. Um, yeah. So I'll, I, I thank you. And uh, <laughs> well, a pleasure. Uh, well, we're very glad for what you do. It's a very cool process. The um, electronics definitely need to stay out of there. And uh, if you want to watch more of the interview, Check us out at uh, greentechnow.com and our YouTube channel. And thank you. Check out our website on escoprocessingandrecycling.com. We actually have a video on there that goes through what we do, and it's, it's uh, pretty awesome. We oh, cool. appreciate you guys. Thank Very you cool. Much. Thank you. You have All a good right. day. Still can't find any sponsors. <laughs>